So what we're doing here is working and it's helping them be successful. We define blended learning as the combination of digital content and activity um, with face-to-face -face content and activity. It sounds easy to blend, but it really, it looks very different in every classroom. So if a teacher is using something that works really well in a face-to-face -face situation, they should continue to do that because it works well. Um, if they can find something else that works better, is more efficient or more effective that's digital, then that would be implemented. What I have online could be completely different than what the biology teacher has online or what the physical education teacher has online. It just depends what you need those kids to have in order to understand what they need to learn. Okay, go ahead and get the laptops. And actually, anybody that's in a small group, come over here. I need you to get a iPad. Why I wanted to go to a more blended environment was so that I could figure out a way to differentiate instruction within the biology classroom. And I wanted a way to be able to work with students in small groups while other students are still engaged in content learning. There are three activities. One's a sorting sentence activity, one is an online interactivity, and one is small group that's going to be working with me. One of the things that has made DCPS um, incredibly successful is our ability to innovate. And we've been very careful about the strategies that we've put in place to make our schools not just high performing, but great places for our young people. Now today we're gonna look at a core interactive text. That's Blended Learning is a combination of using face-to-face -face instruction and also leveraging high quality digital content that is going to engage them it's going to challenge them, it's going to be rigorous, and it's also related to the standards. In my class, I do a station rotation. So there are some students with me receiving direct instruction. There's another group of students who are working collaboratively to solve a problem or issue, and then a third group who is working independently. The power of blended learning is that you can really differentiate instruction and individualize and personalize it for all your learners. Each section, each one six, I need to split into one fourth. Oh, all of them Yes, good, excellent. Go ahead and do that. For the majority of our students, it's their first actual chance to work with computers on a daily basis. On the computers, you get to like choose a level and once you pass that level, you go to the next level and the next level and the next level. Students pro are progressing very quickly and it's actually helping all of our students at all levels. We believe that blended learning is really the lever to accelerate student achievement and meet our goals. <laughs> to do blended successfully, you really have to trust your students um, to take ownership and become a part of their own learning in a way that they might otherwise not be doing. It doesn't get direct I started Blended um, over a year ago and I got into it because I was starting to feel like I was teaching my kids science really well but I wasn't really teaching them to be great students and great learners. With Blended though, I can go up to kids and I can really know, are they getting what they need to get out of this? And then those kids that are, I can push them further and I can dive deeper into something with them. They were performing on standardized tests as well and really learning that content. And for me, that just really made me stop and think, oh, this is, this is something, we're on to something here. And everybody was like, can I hold him, can I hold him? A traditional program, it like takes longer and it's, it's, tell you the truth, it's kind of boring. But the advantages of, of having them, if having them blended, is that you can get half your work done in the computer and it's like fun to use a computer for your class. Man, that, the half part is that I don't find the, the, the traditional part boring anymore because like I know all this stuff. It's just really freed me up as a teacher in my instruction and I've gotten to know my kids so much better than 
I ever had in the past. I can tell you not only what they know in science, but I can tell you what are their strengths and weaknesses in literacy. I feel like I'm really teaching my kids. Um, I don't feel like I'm teaching science anymore. I feel like I, I teach students.